You've heard of child prodigies, but a four-year-old playing college baseball? Sounds impossible, but our own Don Brennan shows us that it is very possible. Don? Well, Scott, I grew up a Mets fan, and during the rain delays, they'd show highlight reels from that awful initial 1962 season. The song that accompanied that less than stellar season was You Gotta Have Heart. Ari Schultz is that four year old of whom you speak, and he definitely has heart. Signed to play college ball, and he's just four years old. No wonder Ari Schultz is the kid with the home run smile, because Ari loves baseball, just really loves it. You've got quite an arm there. Who taught you how to do that? I teach myself how to throw it that far. Whoa! In fact, he's been swinging a bat since he was a toddler, but he was always pretty good in front of a basketball hoop as well, not to mention those winter sports. And all this, despite the hit to his health, He's been living with all his life. He's been through open heart surgery multiple times already. The toughest part for me is just living a normal life, which we are playing sports, playing golf, playing basketball, while at the same time knowing that we're waiting for a new heart and he really needs one. And yet that grin is always there. He'll wake up in the morning and he'll say, Mom, I'm going to play every single sport today. And he will. And it was really there when he met the ballplayers of Assumption College in Worcester, Massachusetts. They are part of a program called Team Impact and that grants wishes to kids with chronic medical challenges. So what they did, they signed him in their baseball draft. So how cool was this, huh? Wow, cool. Kind of make-believe for sure, but not for Ari. Here's what Ari's waiting for now, a heart transplant. The next chapter for this future baseball star who has so much heart already. Now, Scott, Ari is the first person in the world to have undergone two successful cardiac surgeries even before he was born and in his short life. He has three open heart surgeries to replace three out of the four cardiac valves he has, and he's also had more surgeries to remove scar tissue. His dad said probably nine operations in all. Wow, already. Yeah. That and fixes uh, more. Yeah, and already he's touched, you know, Brad Stevens, the head coach of the Boston Celtics, they had him as a guest last season, and really he touches everybody he comes in contact with. You can just tell, he's, his spirit is so yeah. strong. Yeah, that's exactly it. All right. Don, thank you so much.